Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today I'm back to uh, just give you a bit of an update on how the DVD section, movie collection, part room thing is looking. I decided to do some uh, shifting of the shelves, I guess. You might recall last time I showed you the collection, I think that the shelves were sort of like you know, they, they weren't on the same level, they were sort of up and zigzaggy type motion. But now I changed it, so now it's much more linear, you know, all the shelves are at the same height. I tried to give them a, a sense of symmetry, you know, it, it's sort of set up in the same way from the center towards the outside, but you know, it's it's one of those things which, yeah, so, you know, it sort of works. I can't, I don't know if I'm 100% happy with everything, because you know, it, it's it's difficult in my opinion, to sort of use these shelves that aren't where very wide, they're just 50 centimeters so you you can't really you know, there's some items that I can't even display in, in these shelves properly, like the alien head or uh, or the Matrix Nebuchadnezzar ship and you know, these li really large items it tends to feel a bit, you know, sort of cramped in there but at the same time, you know, I think it, you know, worked out pretty well. The video section has gotten a bit more focused because, you know, I've been buying more videotapes. That's sort of what I'm into now, mainly, you know, really cool, like, Swedish videotapes, like vintage 80s tapes, uh, which are, you know, usually very collectible. But yeah, there's uh, there's a couple of new tapes here, uh, which you might not have seen. Got the, the VHS, VHS editions, uh, the limited edition one from the UK. Um, and the American uh, limited edition version. Uh, some weird edition of a movie I haven't seen yet, uh, which I'm sure won't be especially good, but I really like the vintage style design. Because um, it, it's a new new edition, you know, it's a retro VHS edition, so to speak. And uh, yeah, the rest of these I think you've seen. Uh, <laughs> This is not a movie, actually. I, I guess a lot of you are, you know, people from other countries might be like, What the fuck is that? Looks like a cool movie. It's like the video slad sats. Looks like an awesome film. But it's not actually a movie. Uh, this is something I found at the, like, um, second-hand store place. It comes in a clamshell, and it's basically, translating this, it basically means uh, video wire kit. And then it says right beneath it here, uh, complete with the Euro uh, SCART uh, adapter. And at the bottom it says uh, for copying or duplication uh, between the most common video machines. Uh, so it's basically a small kit uh, for uh, just kit, you know, just wires. Uh, that you are uh, supposed to use when uh, copying uh, videotapes between two VCRs. So, yeah, it's just one of those crazy 80s items. I just stumbled upon it, never heard about this. And so, as you can see, yeah, it's basically just a, just a kit of, of various wires. Uh, and, you know, I just saw it, so, you know, this is so cool because it's just, it's, you know, just typical 80s stuff. Got all these sort of Beta and Video 2000 uh, embossed into the case, so it's a just a cool clamshell to have on the shelf. I know it's not a movie, but you know I just so into to 80s, you know that particular the video era. Um, so yeah, just awesome find. Cost me like nothing, like one buck or something. Then we got the Phantasm stuff still here. And uh, I've been buying a lot of these recently, sort of 1980s uh, Warner clamshelves. Uh, particularly these which have the uh, similar style background with like different colors. Just, it's just one of those designs which I really enjoy. So I've started picking a couple of these up, sort of lined them up here. And my most recent one which is THX uh, 1138. Uh, just an awesome film, one of my all-time favorite sci-fi's, uh, and I just love this this variation as well. The uh, Warner clamshell from I think it's 1983, maybe I don't know. Yeah, 1983. So yeah, um, 
and it was like mint condition and hardly cost me anything so absolutely awesome then down here I decided to set up sort of a, sort of a new uh, I don't know I used to just have all the tapes sort of stacked on top of each other which I didn't really like so I uh, put in like a easy quick uh, shelf here which you know it's basically just a wooden board um, and <laughs> and then I just put uh, you know it's just two more pieces of board here on the sides which sort of holds up the board so there's no uh, no nails or anything I just put two boards and put one on top and then I could sort of stack them up sideways like this which I much prefer to the other other way um, so yeah I mean a lot of these tapes uh, aren't stuff that I'm really into uh, but uh, you know but some of it's, it's stuff that I found in in flea markets uh, here's my whole sort of infamous Betamax haul you might remember from one of my, one of my older videos um, and this is a really interesting label which I don't know if you're a, if you're a video VHS collector uh, I'm so sure you've you 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 would have heard of this um, uh, this uh, these tapes or this label I mean um, and it's a label called uh, Video Invest. It's a Swedish label, and they generally used um, designs which I think were commonly used by uh, Ivor Film Services from the UK. So this is one for a Bloody Birthday, which is uh, has the title in Swedish. This is generally what they looked on like on the back side. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like much to you, probably, um, but, you know, it's just one of those extremely, usually very collectible uh, editions. This particular label, basically every tape uh, usually goes for, like, 50, 60 euros. So it's just one of those really collectible like, collectible labels, I guess. Uh, and I was been able to score a couple. I actually got a duplicate of, uh, of Bloody Birthday there. Then here are some of the other ones. Thought I'd just take them out to show you. Ah. Okay, there we go. Uh, these are the ones I have so far, and uh, as you can tell, it's uh, the cover designs are usually pretty similar, like with the big yellow logos uh, and. Uh, like the genre printed right down here on the in the corner and um, I don't know I really like this old it's a very usually really nice cover art um, often like theatrical I guess poster style stuff which uh, I don't know I, I just really really like these um, even though you know a couple of these or most of them actually in this in this case uh, I know they got some video mold on them, which is really, really a shame. Um, haven't really taken the time to to clean them or whatever. I've been thinking about doing that, but I don't really know too much about it, so I haven't really, you know, I just haven't been been a big priority. Um, guess I just like having them on a shelf. Uh, one of my favorite pickups would obviously be in Seminoid, which I think just just one of those really cult sci-fi movies and you'll notice that the design on this is much different but this is also also from Video Invest and it's basically just a different design they basically had uh, I think these are their two main design styles or case cover styles I guess uh, basically like this which is like the old black with yellow logo uh, and then the alternate version would be this, which uh, usually, you know, it has the same background, which is like a, I don't know, I just think it's a, like a sky and a, you know, like sort of a ski slope or something. Or it's just weird. Like a snowy mountain. And then they you have like the uh, pink outlined box, sort of slightly slanted. So yeah, this is the, like a, one of your generic cover designs which just shift the the images uh, and the plot line and title and whatnot. Uh, apart from that the uh, 
this uh, era of the of the label looks the same, so to speak. So it's not a not a particularly unique cover, but you know I really really, really like this because you know it's just, it's just one of those movies which I thought, well, okay, that's a it's a great film. So I was really happy when I found out that uh, Video Invest had released it. So that's just one of those. One of those really cool uh, tapes that I'm really happy about. Um, but yeah, that's some of the new Swedish tapes I've picked up. This whole thing with with flea markets. I mean, I know you know I'm a big, big, big flea market nut these days. Uh, I mean, like every weekend I try to go to something if there's something out there. Um, and uh, you know, most of the time I tend to find some stuff, and a lot of the the fun in 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 hunting videotapes uh, to me is that it's um, you know I, I've grown somewhat bored of of uh, collecting DVDs because uh, for for one thing you know it's you know everyone's doing it these days which might sound very cliche but it's it's just not got the same just it's not just it's, it's not as interesting anymore i think because you know in in the old days you you sort of collected movies because it was it was like a sport you know trying to find you know that very rare limited edition and you know everything else was like crap you know no because the different countries didn't have like you know getting a limited edition from from France because it was like you know so so rare and had like all the cool extras which the other other countries didn't have it's like that thing doesn't even exist now it's like you you can pick up a special edition uh, in in Sweden like in like here and you can like pick up the same edition in UK and France and Germany and you know the rest of Europe and Spain and Portugal and it's like it's just not the same thing you know they're they're putting out limited edition like it's it's such an assembly line process now uh, and you know it just I don't know I, I guess the bubble burst finally um, at least to me I mean they're I'm not saying there's not cool limited editions on the market uh, I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying that you know it's to me, it's it's just not as fun collecting DVDs at this point in time. So uh, I guess I may, in a way, I've sort of come full circle, and I've started collecting um, VHS tapes, like going back in terms of you know quality and 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 you know speaking of picture and all that. But I'm just I'm so in love with videotapes now, and a lot of it is that you know you can you can sort of go out. To flea markets and stuff, and you can find the tapes really cheap, and you'll pick up these these horror movies uh, from the 80s or whenever, or other type of genres, obviously. But I'm mainly into horror at the moment, so that's sort of what I tend to tend to buy. Uh, and you you'll find these tapes really cheap that of, for movies that you know you've never even heard of. Like here's a movie which I had never heard about, uh, and it's called uh, the Fifth Floor. Fifth. Hard to say. It's called the fifth fifth floor. I'm from Sweden. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was made in the 80s, and it's a it's basically a thriller about this girl who gets um, wrongfully uh, imprisoned or not imprisoned, but yeah, yeah, imprisoned into like an insane asylum. Uh, you know, she was basically drugged at a party. And everyone thinks she's sort of, you know, like a junkie or something. But someone put something in her drink, but nobody believes her, and she gets put into this nut house, where everyone, you know, continues to treat her like she's crazy, uh, even though she's not. And it's just, you know, one of those sort of haunting pictures. I've, you know, I've never even heard about this, and it cost me like just like one dollar. And you know, just like, you know, you just walk around and you browse through a, like a box of tapes, and you're like, okay, what's this? The cover looks cool. And you list, you know, you buy it for for a buck and take it home and watch it, and you know I don't care about the picture quality anymore. It's just, I, you know, I actually enjoy watching it on on like this worn out, uh, <laughs> worn out picture, which like you know it's 
it's a bit static and you know it's sort of you know sometimes the tracking needs adjusting and it's just I don't know I just fallen into this weird love for video which I know I know a lot of people are still collecting still collecting video I've come to know a lot of interesting people who sort of share this fascination with with this lost format uh, which you know as they say you know video is not dead I mean just look at the like the new vintage style editions for for movies that were you know just came out on in the theaters you know, so, you know it's definitely something that sort of still lives on which is really cool but the thing which I like about VHS is you know a lot of it is you know just finding movies that you've never heard about and I can imagine that you know people who collect uh, like CDs and, and vinyls particularly have sort of the same fascination like because there's so much music in the in the you know in the world that you you don't know about and you can go into a store and just browse and find uh, you know a vinyl record that's rare or you know unheard of you can go home and play it, and you might like it, you might not, but and you, you know, you sort of find these lost treasures that way, and to me that's a big part of what, you know, collecting videotapes is about now, so, yeah. And I mean, here's another one, really cool, which I had heard about recently, and then I just stumbled upon a tape, and it's uh, the movie Rituals, um, which, you know, also, really interesting watch. To me, um, came out in 1976, so it's pretty old. But this one of those movies, which I'd heard about, hadn't seen, and just, you know, just stumbled upon it. Liked the cover, picked it up, cost me a buck. Went home to watch it. Really enjoyed it. So yeah, this is this is sort of what it's all about. It's become like a new sport, just going to hunt for new movies that you've never heard of. It's just, I don't know, things great. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling, uh, <laughs> wasn't really gonna talk this long about, about videotapes, but I guess I get carried away. Um, but that's it, um, uh, please, uh, you know, let me know what you think about video, do you like video, are you, you know, collecting videotapes, do you know, want, just care about picture quality, this, you know, I don't know, what are you, I don't know, you're gonna say what you wanna say anyway, I don't really care. Um. But uh, thank you very much for watching, as usual I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will come back for more next time I'm deciding to film something. That's it! I can't, I can't, I can never end this, just, just shut up.